HEA. Um, some of the radiators aren't heating up properly. I came out to this oh, probably about four, four months ago because the pressure release valve was dripping so we recharged the expansion vessel and uh, checked the POV operation and that's been fine since. However, we've developed a fault there with the radiators not heating up. 45 degrees Heating is on I'm just going to wait for this to refire and see if this shoots up quickly For 60s and 70s and 80s Suggesting a circulation problem We've got a few radiators that warm up And some that don't here we go, we're about to fire. Oh, that's heating up very quickly. So, for me, I'm guessing that's either passing through the plate heat exchanger as well, or the return filter's blocked. Okay, let's whip that case off and have a look. heat exchanger warming up so I'd say we've got a diverter valve issue here oh, the motor's not moving properly So our flow pipe is red hot. Our return pipe is tepid. Diverter valve appears to be working okay. Although the plate is warming up. So I think I'm gonna have a quick look at this return filter. See what's going on with this. Always we'll recharge your expansion before you start stripping anything down. It wasn't actually a PRV I'll come out here for, it was a show repair, I just asked the customer. <laughs> okay, a bit more in there. the nut on the filling loop that's where the filter is on this boiler in the return ISO valve 
The water's hot in there. I'm going to whip this filter out, check that. Possibly check the diverter cartridge. It felt like it was moving okay to me. But we shall see. So, well, that was definitely blocked. Let me see if I've got another valve on the van. Replace that. And then we'll fill it back up and test it before I mess with that diverter valve. I'd like to know what it was that was at fault, not change two parts and say it was one. And not really know. Okay. Right, so we've got this back together. We're just going to put some pressure back in it. Up a bit of heat. Okay, check the diverter. I'm just going to bleed it first, actually. Try and get it to circulate a little bit better first, and then try it again. Is it shows you red hot. We check the return filter, we've eliminated that. And strip this diverter and have a quick look at that. So we've cracked the bottom union there underneath. This feels really tight. It feels like it's going to snap on me. This one, there we go. That's just snapped. Felt it snap.
Okay. It's all fun and games. Okay. Okay. Let's remove the flow. No, I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. Remove the flow pipe. Isolation valve. Sludged up. Completely sludged up. Look at that. The question is, are we going to get wet? See a diverter valve there, all snapped up inside. I'm gonna bang that out from the bottom there with a big posse. See if we can get that out. So I found that piece out that was snapped off in the bottom. I think this is probably the worst diverter valve I've had. Especially on the back seat. Part of it. That's all clear and free now. Crap inside that man. Oh, I think I've got another valve on the van. We'll go and get that. Put that new diverter cartridge in. We'll see what happens. Okay, so we've got a new isolation valve to go back on. Diverters in look, we can see that. Let's just see if I can push it down and you can see it. So the valve's operating now. Okay. No isolation valve to go in somewhere. There we go. We'll put that in. And hopefully we should have heat in and hot water again. Obviously, we're going to recommend that this customer has a power flush or magnet clean of some sort because this system is a right mess. Okay. Sweating my ass off up here. Well, let's see what's going on now. So, new diverter cartridge. 
new isolation valve. Tightened it up as best we can, it's awkward. Let's put a bit of pressure in, see what happens. A good feeling about this this time. Water pressure is not that great. We should be there, we should have enough to get going. Better. Sludge of this system is bad. MC3, we just put that auto air vent off and just tipped it in the system that way. Easiest way for us to get it in on this system. So, we'll be back to power flush this. So, we're just going to let that run around the system. Hopefully, it'll aid us when we come back.